Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you another of my classic film reviews and today's classic film review is the film from 1986 the action comedy Running Scared, a film that is directed by Peter Hyams who is a veteran of movies. He has directed things like End of Days, The Relic, Time Cop, very very competent director and it stars Gregory Hines, Billy Crystal, Stephen Bauer, Darlene Flugel, Joe Pantoliano, Dan Hedaya and Jimmy Smith. Great cast. Now this is a film that focuses on two detectives uh, played by Billy Crystal and Gregory Hines who uh, they've been on the police force about 16 years they know the streets really really well um, and they decide um, well they take down Jimmy Smith's character who's like this um, drug dealer who wants to make it big as this gangster boss take him down arrest him um, and they are forced to take a vacation so when they go away on vacation they love it that much to go to Key West um, they decide they're going to open a bar and retire from the police force so when they return they break this news to their captain played by Dan Hadea however they, uh, it is revealed to them that the Jimmy Smith's character is back on the streets and they vow to bring him to justice before they retire in 30 days now that's essentially the basic story here now for those of you who have never seen Running Scared this is one of those hidden gems of the 80s uh, it's a buddy cop film with the two most unconventional leads you would ever imagine in a buddy cop film Gregory Hines and Billy Crystal playing cops you couldn't think of two actors probably less um, suited for that role but they're absolutely brilliant in these parts the chemistry between them is absolutely off the charts and they work brilliantly together in this film it's a really really fantastic film and these two guys Gregory Hines and Billy Crystal make it completely great chemistry great performances and you really buy them as these wise cracking um, cops um, veterans um, another thing that really makes this film so good is it's got some really good action in it and it's got some really good characters in it and a lot of um, well-known character actors in this like Joe Pantoliano um, and Jimmy Smith you've got Darlene Flugel who was always reliable as an actress and Dan Hedaya you've got all these actors in there that are really good at what they do and they really help flesh out this movie and make it a real hidden gem um, it's, it's one of those really that probably not many people have seen from the 80s um, and it was at a time when you know buddy cops were just buddy cop films were were just starting to come into their own you know what I mean you'd had 48 hours um, and this came out before Lethal Weapon before they went into the stratosphere like buddy cop movies after the Lethal Weapon films um, and this really holds its own in that genre it's just not looked at in the same light as some of the others um, but the writing's really good the, the comedy's really good um, they're both very very funny in these roles but you take them seriously as police officers as well because they give the impression that they really really understand and know what they're doing interestingly as well it's my understanding that this was initially written um, for Gene Hackman and Paul Heumann um, but the director Peter Himes wanted to use younger actors and do and have younger police officers rather than really older veteran police officers um, so they changed direction and also it was offered to Tom Selleck and John Travolta uh, but Tom Selleck turned it down because of Magnum um, and John Travolta's agent didn't think John Travolta was right for this film um, so I don't know how far the pecking order Billy Crystal and Gregory Hines were but personally I'm really really happy that they were cast in these parts I think it's um, a hidden gem in both their filmographies um, it, when you think of Billy Crystal films you don't think of Running Scared you think of when Harry Met Sally um, uh, and all these other stuff that he's done you don't think of this um, and he's, he's really really good in this film um, it was before he, his fame really took off you know it's even before The Princess Bride this and um, before When Harry Met Sally and before um, all these other films that he did that were more uh, he was more noted for but this is one of those in his, his filmography that I think really really stands up 
um, it's and the action's really good too here. Um, it's 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 full of good action, um, snappy action. Peter Hyams is a very very reliable film director. Um, he always is manages to do um, action particularly well, and you only need to look at the films he did. With, he's done some of Van Damme, like Time Cop, and he's done another couple. Uh, uh, that one on the ice ring, I can't remember the one that one was called. Um, he's done End of Days with Schwarzenegger. Um, the Relic, that great horror film. He knows how to do genre pictures and do them particularly well. And, and the action really, really stands up here as well. And it's paced really nicely, this film. It's got a real... Um, it's got a real pace to it in a sense of it doesn't it doesn't ever really slow down and even because Gregory Hines and Billy Crystal are so watchable in this film um, when there is a scene where they're talking they're so fun to be around and listen to um, you don't really mind um, and then when the action kicks off um, it's really fun to watch as well so there's it's got a great soundtrack as well it's one of those films from the 80s you know when they went through that phase where um, they had these great soundtracks um, and this this film had a really great soundtrack as well a lot of recognizable artists and singers and tracks from the uh, 80s you will recognize when you uh, watch this film so I can't really recommend this film highly enough I bet um, some of you of a certain age won't have seen this film but it's one I strongly recommend it's really really fun to watch um, it's got everything really I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 it's, it's a hidden classic from the 80s and I think it's one that you should certainly check out so that is my classic film review for Running Scared I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it useful and if you haven't seen it I hope I've convinced you to try and go out and watch uh, this film so thanks for watching everybody I'll see you back for more reviews on Screen Stars very very soon